Hi friends, welcome to our channel. This is another unique tasting because every tasting is unique. Uh, but today is something special. So it's it was our meditation event day every uh, Sunday evening, and somehow there was some construction going on by the street, so we had to cancel the event. But we had two friends who were also mango lovers, and they wanted to come in. And although we had to cancel, we said yes, come in. And uh, the reason I talked about meditation in the beginning is many people want to know why we are doing these videos and what is this all about and people think that sometimes you do it because you want to be popular sometimes <laughs> you do it because you want to monetize because you know when the more you make more people click and that but what I found out because I come from Nepal and we we live in a different vibration meaning you know we always think that the body is going to die someday so we are always in search of something beyond the body beyond the mind when i came here in miami it was very earthly energy people were very much interested in money power earning more money more material showing off how good it is even the land the car more beautiful car more expensive car so i thought like how am i going to connect with people here how am i going to show people that there is something higher than just money power sex you know those, those for us in nepal are something that you leave someday something you look for something higher beyond so it was hard for me so uh, that's why uh, don't take me wrong but mangoes were something that were connecting me to people i was getting more response sharing about mangoes than sharing about meditation our meditation channel has 30 subscribers mango channel has 1080 subscribers as of today so you can see there the interest is somewhere else but anything can be meditation so sharing mangoes together can be meditation if you do it in a certain way so not just that like you know you meet friends you know friends because when there is a cultural difference and when when you come from a different place where the goals of life are different it's difficult to connect first you need to know the place and this is a way for me to know because Today somebody in the YouTube was talking and telling that, hey, it feels like you are trying to psychoanalyze the people you meet. And like, yes, of course. If I'm coming from a different culture, I need to know who I'm meeting, who I'm interacting with. And in a way, every talk, every uh, interaction, every communion is a way of psychoanalysis. It's like you are knowing the mind of the other people. Unless you know the mind of the other, how can you change the mind? How can you ask the mind to go beyond the mind? Because uh, my whole function in life is because I have had glimpses of beyond mind, beyond mod body. And I want my friends, my mango loving friends to experience that as well. It has nothing to do with mangoes. But when you are in a circumstances where, you know, that's the opening that, <laughs> you know, you need to take that. Uh, the Sufis used to do that, you know, they were carpenters, they were cleaners, they were painters, but they were using their painting, they were using their art as a way to go into meditation. Whatever the culture is, you find out and go take it as a way to go deeper. So as, love, as much as I love mangoes, it's also a way for me to meet make friends and share with friends what i have learned in life so please don't think that i'm you know <laughs> trying to understand yes i'm trying to understand the people i meet and in this uh, context today is our meditation day and we have two friends who are really interested in meditation but they have come here with mangoes they live in uh, redland florida so it's south and have brought some mangoes that grow in South. So allow me to introduce Will and Annie. Hello, Hello. everybody. Hello, Mango land. Mango lovers <laughs> from the mango land. <laughs> I've learned recently a lot about mindfulness and stuff like that, which is practice of meditation and giving it another word, right? Learning, uh, you know, and, and uh, I know that it's done me a lot of good and I would love to learn more about that, I think would it would just be wonderful. So we will talk uh, about this after the tasting. Yes. Right? yes. Uh, yes. So you, you guys have been tasting all the good mango varieties from Florida. So many times we have friends who have only tasted the Publix and Walmart. Those, uh, you know, uh, so, but with you it will be a different tasting, I know. You already know the good tasting ones. But maybe not tasted all the new ones. Super Julie 
have not tasted. No, not tasted. No. no. Karen Michel. No, no, yeah. Coconut cream, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And orange sorbet, you brought yeah. it from yes. Mango Man Homestead. So you know, first like after three years, I'm, I I'll get the opportunity. Sh but shout out to Dr. Richard Campbell. Yeah. Shout out to Dr. <laughs> Richard Campbell. So uh, I I think these are the big guns. At least for me, they they have been tasting very good these three. So I, I'm happy to share with you and uh, want to know what your um, opinion or what what your experience would be about yeah. these ones again they may not be at the peak uh, peak flavor but you know we'll we'll see it may not be that bad either so which ones do you think you want to eat um uh, say first oh well, whatever did you pick I, I just wanted to say too that uh even the same mango will taste different uh depending on what part of the tree you get it from and also what season right. you know so right. just keep that in mind <laughs> You this know, one uh, was yeah. picked when it slowly got like a light yellow stripe but okay. elsewhere was just a pale green color okay. and it ripened in three, two or three days like this it wasn't tree ripened i know some people like to have like tree ripened like this and go and pick i don't have that luxury raccoons and you know tree mm -hmm. heads and everything yeah. <laughs> so let's yeah, you see gotta, you gotta get them uh, cr quick <laughs> <laughs> so let's do like this because we have four of us here ah but the color, good. yeah, no? the yes. color is not bad. Actually, you will have different tastes. Different. Thank you. The light yellow will taste yeah. different. The deep yellow orange will taste, taste different. different. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> The top part, sweeter than the bottom, is a bit acidic, but it's a good acidic, like more like a pineapple. Mm -hmm. Very, very juicy. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, so very, very good. Where's the coconut that though? First, yeah, I'm uh, not getting too much. The but first bite that I took was so coconutty. <laughs> Close to the yeah, skin is coconut, and I, yes. I found out that if you let it ripen one more day, more of the coconut comes. If you eat a little bit early, it's it's like a lemonade, like more citrusy. Okay. Good. Uh, this is uh, definitely a, a really top tier mango. Yeah. That, um, I mean, Very you're good. not going to be disappointed. <laughs> I know. Very some good. people don't like, uh, I, I've heard people say it tastes like shampoo. Uh, another mm. sample sunscreen should we keep for later just so that sure. we have everything and we still compare? want to see like okay i, I do that uh, <laughs> like ah let's do karen michelle then okay perfect stay within the coconut that, flavors yeah <laughs> it does look nice and ripe already mm. my only fear is did it go over ripe on this beautiful one? fruit yeah it does look big and nice yeah it, it doesn't a little have, bit of a no much no, of a smell but no no bad smell either but bigger fruit than coconut cream mm -hmm. and it has a like a Good deep tone. orange in the middle. and then yellow is um, a little bit more orange on the skin let's see very pretty color yeah classic classic mm -hmm. Sweet, classic, juicy as well, same like coconut cream. Very good. Rich. Mm -hmm. Skin's good too. <laughs> they uh, yeah. they, yeah. they talk about this flavors. having coconut flavors Mike, too, but I don't. Close look to the at, skin. Talk yeah, about no. difference in palate. I taste the coconut. Oh, you do say yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't Very know. I, I don't know if I can compare the two. It's just. Very good. I like that one a lot. I'm very juicy. Very. Yeah. So, um, you like the taste of it? I, 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 I like I like everyone else says. I, I never met a mango I didn't like. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I have, I have, <laughs> but I like. I mean, one. there's some I stay away from more than others, but. But did it surprise you? Were you thinking Karen Michelle um, would taste like this? Like, not mean exact flavor profile, but. It was good, at least for me. It was mm. pretty good tasting mango, and it, I didn't It's know. very good. It's yeah. very good. Yeah. Very um, juicy. Um, and, and you made that comparison about buying a Publix mango. You cannot compare. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even you know. with the, you know, people always 
put their top five, top ten. I don't know if I have mine, but you know, in a way to ask, would you have a tree? Would you have a current missile tree, or a, would you grow it in your yard? Would you like that much that you would get a, a tree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other things you have to consider too is a, is a, re a resistant to uh, disease. Uh, yeah, you know, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the size, you know, yeah. the, is it going to produce even right. though you you keep it uh, very, uh, as a dwarf? You know, all those are the things you got to consider when buying. But that, for that, the yard. that aside, just the taste of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yes. No, those yeah, things are there. Right. Yeah, we always no. take care yeah. of those things. Yeah. Uh, multi grafted, that's what I'm doing. Like, if, if one doesn't produce, the other one produces something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Super Zuli, look how beautiful it is. Beautiful. I think the prettiest one. Yeah. And the biggest one as well. No. No, it, was, it was bigger of the three. And nice one. Super Julie, I found out that it's difficult to catch at its good. I've tried. I feel like I've, I, it's been much more difficult to catch the mangoes at the right time this year. I don't know why it's, they don't seem to be smelling as much as they See, used to. It started to go bad from down here, oh, okay. like a bit mushy. Mm -hmm. And I have experienced, I wanted to go one more day so that it becomes like orange Sweet. all over and Nasty. then it starts to go bad. Very similar to, uh, to Malacca. I, in the color. The, the color, yes. Yeah. Mm. What's the name of this one? Super Julie. Super Julie. It has a clean smell. The taste will be different than these two. Mm. Very different. Yeah. Have you had ugly berry? Carry? Mm. Reminds a little bit. Very. Very. Very much like carry. Ugly berry is uh, uh, stronger than carry. It has this, we call it salt and sweet. Uh, yeah. Yes. Somewhere mm -hmm. there is saltiness and the sweetness together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brightness. A good amount of, uh, of fiber on this one too. Yeah. I think it's our mango tree. It's first year fruiting. That area we were dumping a lot of fallen leaves. It was an almond tree just by, by Oh, really? And I think it might have like, something to do with oh, yeah. living more. So now, now it's all done. So next year probably it will. Yeah, a lot of fiber. But it's not offensive. Different taste than very different. Very different. More the, classic. The other two. Yeah, yeah. spicier. You know. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. But sweet as well. Very sweet. Another good mango for the yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I one is not for everyone. Chalky. I heard this tree grows uh, vigorously. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's a little chalky it is, to me. It is. Mm -hmm. But I think it also has to do with that fiberness and chalkiness. They're probably related to the fact that uh, it's a it's not a mature tree or there was too much nitrogen on, in the soil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of factors could change the flavor of mango. Yes. How much water it like, receives. It's like cooking a curry. Um, I put a little bit of water, then I have to put a bit more salt to balance it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, these three, and then we have last one, orange uh, sherbet. sherbet. Yeah. Okay, this one we don't know. We hope this that it's a zero zero variety. That it, uh, this is its uh, usual size, right? I mean, they get bigger. They get a bit yeah. bigger. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh. not. Mm -hmm. Maybe not already. Ready. Uh, well, it's we'll a bit see. yellow. We'll Let's okay. see. We already we'll cut try. it, so yeah. we'll go forward with it. We won't blame if it is. No, I think, it's, it. oh. I think it looks good. I haven't <laughs> had this season, so I don't know yeah. if this is. I, th uh, I think it's yes, juicy. This is uh, too dry. Like it stays yellow inside. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. sure okay. Does. It has a little yellow. bit of chalkiness. I mean, I can't yeah. smell it, it, chalkiness. It's gonna have a little I bit. If it, is. It, it could have been left. Of, uh, are they? Uh, they more, but yeah. Um, but it's sour. It's tart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tart. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit tart. I think. Yeah, that's sub acid. Yeah. Um, a, base to it. More citrus. It, it gets sweet, like add this citrusiness and add more sweetness to this. I, I probably would have waited maybe another yeah. day. One more Which day. One? Yeah. But it's, it's still not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So, um, I mean, you go on to taste one more time. And Actually, if you had to say one, two, three, I know you don't, you like all of them. So <laughs> it's difficult for you. This question is not even for you. Yeah. <laughs> any, it's a okay. difficult choice, but. Uh, uh, taste one more time. So this one is uh, 
Uh, coconut cream. The first one is coconut cream, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this one looks like coconut cream. This is coconut cream. Okay. And um, this is Karen Michelle. just a completely different taste it's like if you want the change of taste from uh, uh, mangoes, yes, like it you does. go for super julie the karen michelle and the coconut cream to me are very similar very similar mm -hmm. karen michelle is a little deft to it mm -hmm. yeah yes it has something that happened that i would definitely say it's number one for like a more like, a, like an apricot yeah. almost yeah something happened yeah. 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 same Multiple for me flavors. if orange sorbet was at its peak we would probably find a contender uh, mm -hmm. For now, yes, uh, Karen Michelle, then Coconut Cream, and then uh, Super Julie after that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, thank you, uh, Will and Annie, coming by. Welcome. and Our pleasure. Uh, it was uh, very nice tasting mangoes together. Yes. Thank you for having us. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> And probably you'll get a Karen Michelle tree now, or at least a, <laughs> at least a branch somewhere. Yeah, yes. uh, a branch somewhere. multi -grass. You have Edward. I do not have Edward. Oh, yeah, no, no, you don't no. have. Uh, comes close to Edward. Yeah. I don't know which one you would brand, you would graft it to something that grows vigorous as well. I thought I I hear Karen Michelle has long internals. Kate, Kate uh, is a, a vigorous grower. Yeah. It the, could be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just one branch and. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And it is, uh, it, its productivity has been an issue, at least for the original tree, I heard. Mm -hmm. um, but I have been seeing it every year. That means somebody is somebody producing, producing it every it. year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, up north, uh, you know, like the West Coast, uh -huh. Fort Myers area, I'm yeah. sure they have a bit, uh, a bit colder. The uh, microclimate there is yeah. perfect yes. for yeah. growing mangoes. Yeah. Ours, oh. I think we, we tend to get more humidity here in yeah. South Florida, but uh, there's some varieties that thrive here because yeah. of that, you know, so. Yeah. I know Glenn does very well down here right. because of that. And some varieties don't flower. Yeah. Ugly Betty has not flowered for like, more than two years, so yeah, that's strange. Mm -hmm. Thank you very well, much. Thank you, thank you very you much, it. and I hope you guys enjoyed the, oh, yeah. the tasting. <laughs> like and subscribe, yeah. and you know, we'll be making more interesting, fun videos like this. Thank you. layers after layers of the mind and once you open up one layer there is more to explore so it's like a completely unexplored uh, terrain like you know in, um, in psychology uh, I think Freud and Jung they, they, they talk about how our mind that we know our mind is it's just a small. a small part and the huge part is actually beneath sometimes it comes in our dreams like you see okay why was I like that in dream? And it's just our subconscious is trying to tell us something. We don't ac access that. But in meditation, that's the whole, the first step is to have courage to come for meditation. That means now you are ready to explore those areas. And uh, it's every time you explore, some heaviness comes out of it. It's like every time, like being lighter and lighter, the Buddha says, like, somebody asked him what you gained like okay you, you are now teaching everyone what you gained and he said i didn't gain anything but i lost everything that i thought i was and now what i am is without that baggage and you are only with that baggage so there's not much difference between you and me you're carrying the baggage all your life and you think it is you and you have to drop it you can't drop it all at once because it's so dear to you since childhood you've been carrying so i will teach you drop small one at a time and that's what this technique is. Uh, so it's just a slow process of slowly dropping everything that you don't think is is needed, but you know you, you catch and hold it. Yeah. There was this um, there was a famous um, psychoanalyst, psychotherapist. He had a he went into past lives uh, many many uh, minds, many lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he yes. he found many out many that. Uh, the person's disease right now, depression, is dependent on so much of collected um, 
trauma. traumas from not just from this life, but we accumulating. So we are all are like that. Uh, and it's easy to not look at that. It's easy to just live, eat, sleep, and enjoy life. But uh, they say that it does come back at the time of death because it all comes back like a flashback in, and it's, it's going to be a painful one. Yeah. And you carry it in the next life. So why would you, the more you, the faster you start, start shedding, shedding all, that's better it is. Yeah.